Hey guys, so today we're going to be working on our problem sheet one using 2019 Autodesk Inventor. Um, so now, just remember as well, you guys only have to do a, ma a minimum of eight of these. So you pick four of the one to 16 um, problems that you can do, and then you're picking, uh, well, sorry, you're not picking, but you have to do 17 to 20. So that's year nine, um, CAD CAM, yeah, 3D printing, um, photography, um, so yeah, you have to do those ones. So, but today we're going to be starting off. This is the very first video I've been doing of this problem sheet today, uh, and we're going to go with number one. So we're going to be aiming for this L shape at the end, and then extruding at 50 millimeters. You can see that there. So first thing we have to do, though, I'm going to be getting rid of. Um, actually, I'm going to leave that there and just make this a bit bigger. That way you can 100% see this new program. If I click on new, and you see here we work in the metric system in Australia, um, and we're going standard millimeters. So uh, we're going to create that, and then it does take a little bit. It's a big program, so it does take a little bit to load. Um, start sketch, choosing the XZ plane to work from, um, which is just a per personal preference. Actually, it is actually not the right. 100% industry standard thing to do, um, but I, I like to do that. So we're going to be motoring through this rather quickly as well. I want to be doing like three or four minute videos so you guys aren't put off by them. So I'm clicking on that little red, um, yellow square in the middle there and then dragging it to the right, typing 30 and pressing enter. Um, next thing I'm going to do is press top and then I'm going to, so that's just going to give me a closer um, so, so you guys can see, I would normally leave it how it was, but this is so you can see properly. Uh, then we're going up 20, and then we're going across 20 as well. And all of this, I'm not clicking and dragging, I'm just clicking, uh, well actually I'm just, I'm aiming at where I want it to go, and then just typing and pressing enter and it does the rest for me. So um, over this way though, I could type 10 and press enter, but it's like, it snaps to it and stops, so I can just click. And then finally, if I'm not typing anything, I can click down the bottom. And I've done my um, whole L shape there. So all the way from clicking once and then just typing the number, typing the number, and just aiming where the line I want to go, that gets that done, okay? Um, final step, so if we bring this one up here, you can see here it's 50 millimeters long, okay? So we've done 30 across, 20 up, 20 across over here as well, um, and then it's 10, 10, as you can see in there, by doing the maths and subtracting the numbers together. So um, you guys should be able to figure that out yourselves, being big year 9 students, um, or even year 10 students if you're doing a catch-up for my year 10 CAD CAM course. Um, so there we are with that one, and I'm just going to go 3D model up here in the top left, um, and extrude. So we're going to extrude that, and we're like I said before, we're going to extrude that 50. And uh, all right, cool. So if we have a, we can zoom out here and have a look at what we've done, um, and it's all good. So if we have a look at that, and then comparing it to this one, that looks pretty spot on, and I know all the measurements as well. So now we're going to do is save it, um, and as you can see here, I have done the part one already. So I'm going to save it as part one, and we'll save it over the top. Um, so you guys should be creating a um, problem sheet one folder in your um, H drive so that way you can keep everything. So that's part one done though guys. So I only need to save as an IPT. Don't go save as, just literally save it. IPT file um, and that's one of your eight files minimum that you have to be handing up to me. So awesome and hopefully you guys stick around for uh, pro uh, part two of problem sheet one.